Time to go to the investigation board. So Bjorn was in love with Lily. Her death pushed him over the edge, and he looked for someone to blame. Someone besides himself, that is. But Bjorn refocused on his duty to protect the forest, and that's when the poacher trespassed on Sacred Grove. Bjorn needs a haircut. Ted appears to be a dead lead, as the Mistwalker scared away his poaching operations. But this bit about Derek piques my curiosity. Why the sudden mood shift? And it seems that Derek is trying to make Ted look guilty. Hmm. Yeah, Ted did look suspicious for a moment there, but he can't be guilty because he's a nice guy. So, what brings you here? I mean, come on, he's a nice guy. You seem upset. What's the matter? I'm worried about my dog, Thunder. He's run off. If you see him, please bring him back to me. He can be pretty rough with strangers, but give him a treat and he's all yours. Oh, that's nice. I'm not here to arrest you, but I know you've hunted in the Sacred Grove illegally. I admit it, I was a poacher. Greed blinded me back then, but I'm different now. I saw the light, and I haven't been back to the grove since. Thanks for trusting me, and not telling the others. Those mistwalkers can make snap judgments about people, especially hunters. Here, take this. It opens one of the hiding places in Dire Grove. I know you ran into Derek in the grove one night. What was he doing? I'm not sure. He was a frequent guest there for a while. I'd never seen him so happy. Not since his brother was taken away. Well, that is until... Oh, no matter. It's probably nothing. Thanks, Detective. I'll never forget your kindness. Hmm. wonder what he was going to say. Anyway, Derek. Derek hanging around in the woods. That's... That's pretty suspicious there. And it looks like we're going to investigate him, so clearly the detective also believes he's suspicious. We're just gonna make ourselves a key to Derek's house. So this is kind of a strange puzzle. You want to put these things down. But you have to hit it the right number of times. So this is one. And this is two. This is three. This is also three. Why is it not two like this one? I don't know. One, two, three, four. This final one is four. Ah, the family. My mother died, and I'm convinced the Mistwalkers had something to do with it. They took my brother away too. I'll find a way to avenge my family. Yeah, Derek, you're looking super guilty now. Super, super guilty. Dear Mr. Derek Crawford, we have found an answer to your query. The Mistwalkers follow the rule of even exchange. If you want to get something from them, you have to first make an offering. All these hours in the library have not been in vain. Now I know how to bring my brother back. I'll take something valuable away from the Mistwalkers and demand Peter back in exchange. They have to comply. It's their rule. I wonder what he stole. Oh, no! The child of the forest! That's not going to make the deer very happy. No. Alright, that's a puzzle. That is also a puzzle. This 
puzzle we're going to try to cook something according to the instructions, but I don't think we have everything. gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking over here. Now I'm back to the hotel. Is it here that I'm trying to go? Yes, clock hands over here. Gives me the skull, which I can use over here. And this thing is supposed to be a glass cutter. Hooray! Doggy treats! Doggy treats! And I forgot something over here at Derek's house. That board. Yeah, like most animals in these video games, they're very angry until you give them food. Here you go, Thunder. Here you go. Oh, such a cute dog. Okay, so we're going to give him back to Ted. At a boy, Thunder. I missed you so much, you old lug of a dog. Oh, detective, I don't even know how to thank you. Here, take this. Maybe you can use it. So that is something we can use. We're using it here. Yeah, that works. And sure, why not? Derek is obsessed with the idea of getting revenge against the Mistwalkers for our family's ordeals. He won't listen. I can only hope that time will temper his rage. Why does Derek keep that in his house? I don't know. Anyway, this puzzle, so... We're going to be making bullets, in case that's not obvious. It's a little slow, but I suppose this is accurate? I don't know, I've never made homemade bullets. So I know this is a dangerous game with all sorts of dangerous things to fight, but we're going to waste our bullets opening a door. Yeah, that seems like a huge waste of the bullets, considering how many things are trying to kill us in this game. Challenge. Um, light bulb, marble, marble, marble. When it goes in here, and then we call the phone number, which is on the right. To get a random. 
crystal, which we will not actually use, but it's... What was that? It looks like there's a dead body inside here. And it is a dead body, just not a human dead body. This is the dead body of... that bird? I know you Mistwalkers observe the rule of even exchange. I'll return your sacred animal in exchange for my brother. Oh my... Derek is looking like the culprit. And now we have a flamethrower. A welding torch flamethrower. Okay, well it's still basically a thing that shoots out flames so we can break into here. Wow, we must be close to the end of the game because I'm running out of items in my inventory. Yeah, I've only got one item left in my inventory. Yeah, that, that generally means you're at the end of the game. And this is one of those monster puzzles. Ugh, okay. Um... This ball over here for a puzzle. that fish backwards. Yay! So I can get the fox out, and I can get the bear out, and I can get this mirror here. So with this bear, it's basically one of those puzzles where you don't want to put heavier pieces on top of lighter pieces. build the top three pieces over there in the middle. Yay! What did that do? That turned on the sun. And this is an electricity puzzle over here on this side. We want to light up all of those various things. There we go. Now for the middle one. The middle one... middle piece is pretty simple. All right, and that gives us this thing on the left. Use the squares to make a path through the glowing tiles. How is that possible? I actually don't know how that's possible. Because this piece goes straight up, so there's no piece that connects to it. Unless we're doing something like this. Um, there's no straight, there's no straight up and down piece there, so, yeah. Not sure how to solve that puzzle in any case, it just leads us straight into a hidden objects puzzle. My favorite. Not a big fan of having this hidden objects puzzle right after the other puzzle. It's it's like giving us two puzzles, two monster puzzles in a row. Of course, it could be just me. If you won't even consider my offer, you'll never see your precious deer again. Oh yeah, you're guilty, Derek. You're guilty. You're guilty. 